which is launched at an angle of 30 degrees with an initial velocity of 5 meters per second. How long will it take to reach its maximum height? What will that maximum height be? How far will it travel horizontally? And how much time will it take for the object to land? How fast was it traveling in only the x component direction? Okay, so for number four, we have a lot to solve. I'm going to start way over on the left-hand side. And let me keep the question here so I can actually uh, see where we're going. An object is launched at an angle of 30 degrees. So the first thing we do, uh, we read it. I usually read the problem a couple of times. Launch it at 30 degrees. So we'll draw an angle. And I'll write my givens down below the drawing. Um, with an initial velocity of 5 meters per second, I'll put v naught here, but I'm going to write v naught is equal to 5 meters per second down here. How long will it take to reach its maximum height? So maximum height is that point there. And what is the final velocity at maximum height? Yeah. Zero. So zero meters per second. Now, we're looking for yh. What is the maximum height? Uh, yh is equal to v naught squared sine squared theta all over 2g. So y sub h is equal to, we have v naught, that's 5, we have theta, it's 30, and uh, if it doesn't say that you're not on Earth, you can assume that gravity is 9.81, so we'll plug that in, we have everything that we need. Uh, that's going to be 5 squared sine squared 30 degrees divided by 2 times 9.81. Uh, something you need to be careful about. Uh, one thing, this is sine of 30 degrees, so your calculator needs to be set in degrees and not radians. So you might want to check the, um, the mode that you're in. The second thing, that, that's sine squared, and I type this in my calculator like this, uh, sine 30, and I put parentheses around it and then put squared, or you can type it in your calculator like this, sine 30 times sine 30. Now, some calculators will automatically put the parentheses uh, for the sign, and you just have to put the closed parentheses, um, but other calculators don't. So, depending upon whether or not you have a Casio or um, a regular Texas instrument, uh, you just have to figure out how to use your calculator. So, someone punch this in and tell me what you're getting for, let's say, sine squared 30. Anybody else? All right, now let's let's change the mode to radians and see what happens with the exact same thing. Um, sine 30, and then sine 30, you get 0.97. All right, so let's uh, make sure your calculators are in degrees. So I'm changing mine back. And then sine squared 30 is... 0.25, and I'm going to erase this. All right, so 5 squared is 25, and then sine squared 30 is 0.25, and this is going to be over uh, 2 times 9.81, and that's 19.62, and then we'll just multiply all this together now. That gives us 0 0.318. Uh, you typed in the whole thing. That's what you did. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, so 0 0.32 is equal to yh, and that's going to be in meters. All right, that's y sub h. Now let's see what else we need. That's the maximum height, 0 0.32 meters. That means that this distance here is only about a third of a meter. Not very high. But we'll look at... Um, later in the next problem, you'll see that that v naught, that velocity, 5 meters per second, uh, that, that's pretty fast. You're covering 5 meters in one second, but when you compare that to something like a, a bullet, 
um, that could be traveling at nearly 2,000 meters per second, that, that's a pretty small initial velocity for an object that is launched or thrown. Uh, how long will it take to reach its maximum height? What will the maximum height be? So how long uh, time is equal to V naught um, sine theta divided by G. So the time to get to that maximum height is going to be 5 times sine of 30 divided by 9.81. And now just go ahead and punch the whole thing in and tell me what you get. 0.25. 0.25. All right, so a quarter of a second to get to the uh, highest point. All right, everybody double check. We don't want uh, any mistakes. All right, good. Next part. How long will it take? Get the maximum high, what will the maximum height be? How far will it travel horizontally? So that's looking for the range. Range is equal to V naught squared sine 2 theta divided by G. V naught is 5. Okay, now here, 2 times theta. That theta is going to be 30 degrees, so you're actually multiplying 2 times 30 first, so that's 60. So you're taking the sine of 60, and then times um, 5 squared. So 25, and someone look up, or punch in, what is the sine of 60? Four eighths. Four eight seven, that's fine. All right, nine point eight one, and someone punch in the whole thing. 2.21. 2.21, all right. So that's what I got. Meters. All right, so the range is 2.21 meters. The range is this entire distance here. And that's going to travel 2.21 meters. It's going to go up a third of a meter over 2.21 meters. How long will it take to get to the maximum range? What's this the time for? Uh, well, YH, the highest point. And so the maximum range would be... Two. Times two. All right, so 0. 0.5. And we'll just write total time is uh, 0. 0.25 times 2, and we'll just write 0. 0.5 seconds. So half a second to go the entire distance. Um, how far will it travel horizontally? How much time will it take for the object to land? That's 0. 0.5 seconds. How fast was it traveling in only the x component direction? Uh, now, the distance in the x direction is equal to the velocity in the x direction times time. But the velocity in the x direction is equal to v naught x. What is v naught x? Does anyone remember? v naught cosine theta. All right, so this is going to be v naught cosine theta times time. Now, this is going to be... How fast are traveling in the x direction? All right. Um, Uh, let's let's back up. Uh, we have v naught x. We're looking for v naught x. We have all of these things actually. The distance in the x direction will be the range. V naught is five. Theta is thirty. Time is 0. 0.5. So we don't actually need this. We're looking for v x. So we just have to take uh, v x is equal to distance in the x direction divided by time, and the velocity in the x direction is equal to the range, which is 2.21, divided by the time that it takes to go that far, 0.5, and that's going to be 2.21 uh, divided by 0 0.5. 4.42. 4.42 meters per second. All right, that is the initial velocity in the x direction only, and that's the end of that problem.